Hey everybody, it is Kevin Ho, and we are back. And hey, we are at 15th and Dolores, which is a great street. We are gonna go see a rare single family house over at 211 Doris, at Dolores. Let's see with Emily Dunn uh, from Compass. Driverless car here, thank you very much. Our clients live over there at that great development at 200 Dolores there too. And we are here to see this nice brick facade single family house that has, of course, the rarest thing, a double wide garage door, nice facade, and notice there is a gap between you and the other Victorians over here and the Victorians there, which means there might be some potential one day. Anyway, let's go inside. We're here at uh, 211 Dolores. And remember where I said before, lots of Victorians, multi-units, and over here, lots of Victorian multi-units across the way, lots of multi-units. I think these two are among the oldest houses in San Francisco and more multi-units. What do you have here? But a single family house. And what's really great, it's 31 feet wide. So we don't know what to do with themselves after it's 24 feet wide, which is like probably 25 feet, which is standard. Maybe that's 24 feet here, right? Then you get 28 feet. Now you have 31 feet. You'll see it's a really broad and different type of feel. Uh, I talked to Emily before. We're gonna go inside now and uh, they're gonna do offers next Monday, which is Monday the 12th, 13th, 14th? Anyway, that's the upstairs part. And here's the downstairs part. We're gonna do downstairs first. Emily's talking with a uh, prospective buyer there. We don't wanna intrude. First thing you'll notice here, double wide garage, which is super duper rare. You've got your old stuff here that people have owned it since the 90s. And there are two power boxes here, two gas meters as well. So that raises the question, is it a two unit or not? Well, that's the question. I think that, is that solar? Is that solar? Not quite sure, anyway. Well, the city apparently, uh, they filed permits with the city to do the work, but the permit was never closed. So what does that mean? Well, it means what you think it means. We don't know. Uh, depending on how you want to use the property, it's kind of an interesting opportunity to say the least, because if it's still technically a single family house and the work was never cleared out, you never know what you can do with it. Now, interestingly, remember, there is the second entrance on the left side here, and that goes up, that goes into the kitchen, which we'll see momentarily. And then that also goes out to the back. Let's go see what's down here. I haven't seen this part. Oh, that's nice. Nice little motion sensor here. And, oh, wow. This is the bedroom, which we'll see in a moment. And this is, oh, this is the cute backyard. Let's show you the backyard. So the parcel is shorter. It's not the standard 100 feet. Oh, look, they have a little cottage back behind there. I love San Francisco. You get the neatest things. But here you can see the back side of the house. You have a nice deck up there. You have a nice little area down here. They have irrigation down here. And I think that's St. Francis, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it could be mistaken, but you know, what the nice thing is concrete foundation here, and then you've got concrete on this side for your other part too. And you've got this nice little pass-through area, which is great. Nice and clean, nice and bright, great light from the light well above. Let's go back in here. So this is the utility room, common area laundry room, I suppose. You've got your water heaters here. You've got your dryer here. That was an electric one, but you also have plumbing for gas as well. Your main stack, not your main stack, sorry. Your uh, drain pipes here, nice laundry sink as well. Concrete again on the bottom. And you see the old growth wood that they put in. And above, same thing too. You've got Romix, you've got your joists here, your gas lines too. And like we said, your double wide garage door. Garage doors this size are no longer allowed in San Francisco if it's new or if it's a remodel. So it's good that it's here. Now they have the automatic hold back thing and the bolting here in case you need for security, which is a good thing. So let's go through here to the lower living area. So over here, you've got nice carpeting here and you've got laundry in here. So apparently upstairs, big bathroom here. That's the thing about this house. It just feels big, if that makes sense. Closet here, with nice cedar planks on the ground here. And then you've got this step down area, the wall furnace here, but this is pretty nice. I don't have my laser measure or thing here, unfortunately, which I usually do, but I left it 
uh, at home, but uh, pretty tall ceilings here. They're different heights. You can see there's a little step up here, step down here, step up here, and then back here is the kitchen for this area. Take a look here. Oh, for the dishwasher, refrigerator, fully stocked electric. You can easily turn that into induction if you wanted to. So let's go upstairs and see what else there is to see. It's very, you know, like I said, the people bought it in the 90s and they maintained it. They didn't really update it like crazy, but it shows really well. And there's just some minor cosmetic things you can do. So let's go up here. Okay, cool. Hey, Kevin, how are you? How are Good you? to see you. Good to see you. You haven't seen downstairs yet. That's like half the house. Hey, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're up here. Big living room up here. Uh, and then you've got nice plantation shutters looking out to Dolores. And then you've got, there's a dining room. See, the scale is just bigger. It kind of feels, it sounds weird to say this, but you know when you have ADA type of accommodations, they have bigger and more room for it. This is one of those types of feel where a lot of times people might have to come through here pardon me Hello. here's your dining room here and then this goes into this nice kitchen i like the kitchen oh i like that, that at the mid the visual uh, comfort one here wine fridge here nice towel here good cooktop so that sort of napa type of feel nice cherry cabinets i think double oven oh the mila mila not tequila not mila apparently like tequila that's what we're told You've got refrigerator here, dishwasher, and then that goes back into that um, living room. You've got recessed LED lights here. Let's take a look here. A little double, let's see if I can open this. Yeah, this was where we were just at before. Remember there was that downstairs space, little greenhouse windows here. Pretty nice too. So public areas, kitchen, dining, living. And then here, let's go back. So over here, remember we came in this way. Let me go back here. You've got your first bathroom. So sort of the greenish bathroom, very, very 1985, 1984. But really nice texture up there. So it's funny that this is coming back into style. Slightly different, of course, but still. You've got your shower here. You can totally reconfigure, add skylights, do what you like. And in here, you've got your entry closet here. Linen slash entry, I suppose. That is your return for your heater. This is your entry closet. That was your linen closet. There is a skylight up there. And coming in here, you've got another bathroom. So the opposite side of that bathroom. Although there's a little light mode here. Now with the sort of the greenish tile, you have the old Art Deco uh, tub. And then you've got more tile. And then just a bit more storage back here. There you go too. And your tile floor again just reconfigure this you could epoxy it you could just keep it enjoy it the way it is or do something different now back over here this is one bedroom and we'll see the other bedroom in a second there is the view out that way towards the shed that we were at earlier closet and closet interesting and when you go over this way just so you can see what we're talking about and here's the other bedroom now this is the layout that's slightly weird and annoying to us as the realtors because you've got that third room see it oftentimes in the sunset but actually it's funny the um listing that vanguard has over at 25 hodongo had that too and it turns out it was the model home and they did an effective use of it now this one you don't have to make the choice of saying hey you're gonna go through this room or that room you have to go through that room but a lot of times people might put a hallway like they might make this room shorter make this a hallway so you see there and then you can cut access to this room, which is the third room on this floor. Lots of windows here, and then over here. Hey, how are you? One of our fabulous agents who has those beautiful, beautiful listings and all this stuff. And I know she's thinking, what can we do with this one, right? Because it's 31 feet wide, single family house still. I know, see, she knows. And now we have the deck here and you've got this lovely back space as well. So this is where we ended up with halfway through, but anyway, and there's more agents too, but pretty fantastic. I like this one. It's, oh, you have to look at this too. Let's go down here before the, we forget. These are nice wide stairs and you've got, just had a look at a little fountain here, a little bird's fountain here. And you've got a lovely 
don't know what these trees are. Azalea trees, papaya trees, golf cow trees, giant, oh, flower buds are coming, camellia trees. You could let me know in the comments what tree that is. And there's some roses back here too. A pretty incredible opportunity. 211 Dolores lives with our friend Emily Dunn over at Compass. Oh, look at that one tree too. It's a really pretty special property. What do you think? You like it? Interesting. Isn't I, it? I thought the, the backyard cut off right Oh no, now. it keeps going. As if it were meant to be divided up. Who knows? Anyways, Kevin Ho is signing off. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you at the next one.